All right, so so far we've built this quiz app. You can walk through the questions, and in fact, we set it up so when you get to the last question, it just kind of stays on the on the last question. In fact, our index even keeps going up to four, five, six. We just make sure we don't bomb the system out by trying to grab an empty slot. Okay, let's change it. Let's let's say that what we want for our behavior is if the user is looking at the third question, they click next it'll spin back to the first question okay we might also gray out the next button that's that sort of thing but let's for this one let's make it so it's like revolves around so you can go back to the first question after the last question okay so we know when they click next we're going to increase our index and really once that index gets too big once it gets to four we want to go back to the first question. And going back to the first question is really setting our index back to one, right? Because that index tells us the position, you know, the current question we're on. Okay, so I'm going to go down to my blocks and I'm actually going to change this uh, lesson sign. I'm going to go back to make it greater than three. So when the index is greater than three, I, I don't want to grab the, the next question. But what I want to do is I want to set the index back to 1. So if our index was 3 and they were looking at the third question, we change it to 4. Oh, it's too big, right? If it's too big, set it back to 1 and then go get that question. All right, so I'm actually going to go and grab a set index. And I'm going to set the index to 1. All right, so let's increase our index. Oh, it got too big. Set it back to one. This is all before you know anything happens over here. And finally, whether it's one or two or three, go get the current question and show it. All right, let's see if this this works. So I'm on the first question. I just restarted my app. Uh, when I click next, okay, good. There's the second question. Click next. There's the third question. And notice my index is at three. Okay, when I click next, I believe it'll just very temporarily change to four. We probably won't even see it. And then immediately change back to one because the code will, will say, oh yeah, you've gone too far. And then it should show the first question again. Okay, and it, there it is showing the first question. So right now we're just kind of looping through like we wanted through our through our questions. Okay, I want to show you one more thing. and. And I'm going to add, just for now, a, a dummy question, okay? So, what is your favorite color? Okay, we're not going to end up having this in our app, but if I added a fourth question here, um, you know, what you want is really, like, you want to make it easy to make changes, right? To kind of change the quiz or make a new quiz. You really want your blocks to work no matter how many questions there are. Okay, right now, I do not think this is going to work because, you know, we've got this three in here. We're checking for three specifically. Okay, and in fact, if I restart this thing um, and rerun this app, now that I've got this fourth question, you know, what's going to happen? Well, I think what's going to happen is when I get to the third index and then I make it four, it's going to say, oh, you're, you're too big. It's going to set the index back to one. So I think what's going to happen is it's going to continue to loop through the first three questions and never even show me the fourth question. All right, so here comes the app. And, uh, okay, there's the first question. Click next. Sorry, I just got focus. Click next. There's the second question. And there's the uh, third question. Okay. Should it show me the fourth question? Yeah, but it's not going to. It's going to go back to the first question. Okay, so we've got a little bug here. And, and really the problem is, instead of treating this list kind of generically, you know, not considering how many specific questions there were, we said, oh, well, well we know there's three questions, and we put an actual three in our code. Okay, really, we don't want this three. We, we should have asked, you know, show me no matter what the length of the list is, I can't get too big. And App Inventor's got a nice function in the list uh, folder called length 
of list. All right, and I really want to see is my index bigger than the length of this list? Okay, so I need a reference to question list. There it is. Okay, so instead of instead of asking for three specifically, I'm going to ask for the length of the list. And this you know now my list has four things. The length of the list, of course, is four. Okay, and um, you, you know, I want to see if my index is too big. So now I believe I should be able to. Um, loop through all four questions. So I got the first question showing it re restarted my app. If I click next here, well now I got focus, click next, two, three, now it should show me my fourth question. What is your favorite color? Okay. Now the index is four. When I increase it to five, it's going to be too big, so it should flip me back to the first question. And, and there it is. Okay. So pretty cool. I, I noticed one thing. I've got a typo in here. It's kind of a nice thing about App Inventor is <clears throat> even if you got a typo, you can change it. And when I change it up here in my uh, variable definition, notice it changes in all my references. So I don't have to worry about kind of fixing, fixing those. It's a nice thing about uh, this tool.